Hello everyone, this is Stefan coming to you once again from inside the doghouse. There's something I need to get off my chest. PSA announced that they were going to launch their comic division and go into direct competition with CGC on July 18th of this year. It was bet with a lot of fanfare. There was a media blitz around it. Um, well, media blitz and as far as the comic community goes anyway made an appearance at a convention showed off like this clunky slab that everyone hated and then it just kind of disappeared and here's the issue that i have so cgc over the past while has had no shortage of people complaining about different things that are going on and issues that have arose and the complaints are perfectly justified. We had the Ben Tinderwell issue that took up most of 2024 um, and people were upset not only by the Ben Tinderwell uh, but the damage that was done in some comics and also the fact that CGC was not replacing any of these and they're not going to. Uh, it's a company. They've got hundreds it, it's in the hundreds of thousands of these bent inner walls out there they're not going to take them all back and, and replace them for people it would be cost prohibitive it would be run into the millions of dollars so that that simply is not a factor but people were still upset that it went on as long as it did like not only were they not um replacing things or the books that were impacted or slabs that were impacted by this but they kept on sending out books with bent inner wells, even though the, um, the, the, the there was full knowledge of the issue. And from my perspective as someone who occasionally wants to sell comics on eBay or to people in the local community, I can't sell those. And so basically 2024 became a wash with CGC books. That's the straight real talk. Um, well, at least the first part of it, like, uh, um, is now it, that the inner well thing is is less and you kind of have to go case by case i still see the occasional bent um bent inner well in there but it's not all the way through a submission typically so th there's there's all sorts of issues ha other issues happening as well um there's big news of the firings at CGC. I think that's a yearly process for them. So I didn't get too bent out of shape, but they lost or they got rid of uh, CGC Mike, who is a uh, you know, mainstay in the boards and, and the boards are going completely downhill. They don't want to moderate. They don't want to pay to create this community of collectors, which they spent years and years and years developing. And and so like there's a lot of angst on the boards right now if you go and rightly so like that's it's i i i can't make any sense of that whatsoever the amount that it would cost them to keep the community running as opposed to the benefit to them um it makes no sense to do that but that's what they did um they had promotions in the vintage tier and the modern tier which backed up everything like crazy so cgc is in a spot now where they have more books than they can handle um the vintage tier has gone well over 100 days at this point it was 115 yesterday it's going to climb it wouldn't shock me if it got to 150 business days before it started to ease back down um swaggle hosted a video on this and he was saying that um, CGC's kind of abandoned the vintage tier. I don't think, I actually don't agree that that's all of what happened. Like maybe they did because uh, the focus, like the focus on modern tiers argument there is good. But um, I think with the vintage tier, you have graders that have to count every page and check for restoration. Every single book, like a modern book takes two seconds, like, well, five seconds to grade uh, a vintage tier book would take them you know maybe a minute or two so that's many multiples so they could go through them a lot slower the more experienced graders would go there so it ties them up and uh, you can't just hire someone off the street to do restoration checks for example so you know cgc is backed up and people are really unhappy with the whole scenario like no one wants to like i've had a submission with modern tier i don't want to i don't want to send it in 
because um like I, I don't want to wait nine months to get my books back that's basically where we're at and maybe it'll be even longer by the time you know it gets there and boxes are open and then you have to also account for like a month to even open a box now which is you know we're, they're basically at the point where is that where things were at in 2021 and then the grading is all over the map that's just the reality at cgc right now and uh, i've always been on the side of graders saying you know there's disagreements to all that but i've had some of the in the last two submissions including why that's on its way back i'll do a dedicated video where i have had the worst grading ever it was atrocious it was like it, it's past bad to the point of incompetent like it's absolutely unacceptable and i you know that's just pure loss for me as a person who's sending in books so long story too late for long story short but all of this leads to a spot where like i press books for people and send them in and i do my own books as well and the most common question i get is when is psa going to be up and running now psa when they did their initial blitz they said hey we're going to be up and running and they put it on the uh, on the announcements that it was going to be early in 2025 so early to me means first quarter so january february march that seems reasonable right and when i looked for information because people are asking me and i'm getting beyond fed up with with all the continual issues that are going on like i just want to send in my books get the right grade and then do whatever i do with the books like i i really don't want to deal with all the continual drama and and, and stuff and and so i've been i was looking to see okay well if psa is going to be ready to go in january february march maybe i should just stop sending and just get submissions ready so i'm ready to go when cgc is finally going and when i looked at their site the ref any reference to early 2025 is gone and now it just says 2025 and i get it like timelines get pushed you have to hire the main guy that person makes key hires and then it trickles down the system everyone has to be trained everything has to be trialed and tested product has to be ordered like the inner well in cases like when they commit to every part of the design and everything works and everything's been tested an order has to go out to get like a million two million five million however many of those cases they're going to get and so this is a process that takes time so um i get it not a problem like i i get timelines being pushed but here is my my, my really specific problem my source of frustration like and i'm thinking psa is dropping the ball big time why are they not telling us when to ex expect them to be up and running so we can plan around it if they said june it's like okay well we'll do what we do and then start getting books ready for the psa launch in june like you know sometime in 2025 i'd stop sending the p to the cgc and start getting submissions ready to trial and test and see how the psa stuff is working but there's nothing there's crickets chirping i went so far as to go on their website at psa's website and look at the job postings and I went into comic grader and stuff and I went in to see if there's a start date because with positions it's like you know your position starts in April 2025 or something like that that's typical in at least some ads and there's no dates attached anywhere I cannot find a drop of information so PSA is in a position now where they have a market that they can capitalize cgc is just making enemies right left and center burning bridges it's that i i, I was thinking of that homer simpson thing where he he quits at work and he's like tossing fire around and you see one hit like a match hit a bridge and it starts to burn and stuff um like it, it's like that and it's a perfect opportunity if they said like give us any date whatsoever in 2025 or any idea like just say summer 2025 you don't have to be specific just say summer 2025 good enough um but it, it, like the fact that there's like no date attached to anything like we're forced to just go okay well i guess we'll just keep on sending i suppose like uh 
so like there, there's just like i can't even fathom like because it, it's it's like a massive opportunity lost here for psa um what happened to this media blitz what happened to generating excitement like even if they're not up and running for months and months and months still they can keep the excitement for their product going and as people get more and more disgruntled at cgc all those people will have that mental note oh yeah this is coming we're gonna jump ship right and and they're not capitalizing on any of that there's like i haven't seen a bit of promotion uh, for their product basically their website just shows the services that they're going to offer so you have hey we're gonna put in an ugly looking psa case well whatever um and we're gonna you know draw uh we're gonna have the ability to press comics and, and stuff like that which is kind of standard and typical nowadays anyway like all the companies are gonna press comics for you because everyone you know uh not not everyone has room for a press but i think as sorry this is just a, a big stream of consciousness rant but i cannot for the life of me wrap my head around like where is the communications team where are the people who are supposed to be promoting PSA comic division? Um, why are there no like big interviews happening where they're saying, oh, we're going to launch it this, you know, we're, we're coming. It's, it's been delayed a bit because we had to make sure that we're, that we, our, our product is sound and we had, you know, or, or we're testing out different designs. Like just give us anything to hang on to because we're like, I, I've, I've never felt as much um not negativity that's the wrong word but i've never been as disgruntled as a as a consumer of the, of the product right now uh and and psa can just sweep in there and get me excited again and they're not doing it so anyway i i'm not going to continue on with this i'm just going to say the same thing over and over and over again but i'm I, i'm seeing this massive lost opportunity i don't understand it i'm wondering like why is psa dropping the ball right out of the gates before they're even going and maybe um there's a good reason for it i don't know but uh, if, if you know of anything let me know in the comments and uh, like i and maybe I missed something along the along the lines. So, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> like, sorry for the rant, and and thanks for just you know listening to me as I go on and on about this. But it it, it bugs me. It, like, this is really bugging me at this point because I'm I'm one hundred percent ready to jump ship, and I got you know, and, and they're just not doing anything, like giving me anything to hang on to, which is inexcusable from my perspective. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done right. So take care. <laughs> Happy collecting. Um, see you next time. Until then, may all your inner wells be straight.